The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has filed a notice of appeal at the Court of Appeal seeking to overturn the anti-corruption court judgment delivered by Justice Nixon Sifuna on Thursday, allowing Wilson Nahashan Kanani, an employee at the Nairobi City County Government, to keep 643.2 million shillings worth of assets, which the anti graft body had declared unexplained wealth and wanted the court to order forfeiture to the government for being proceeds of corruption. Following the ruling by the High Court, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has moved to the Court of Appeal seeking to overturn the ruling by Justice Nixon Sefuna. In its submissions, ESCC informed the High Court its investigations revealed massive wealth to the tune of more than 1 billion Kenya shillings linked to Kanani through bank accounts and companies under his name spouse and associates. ESCC also says Kanani only satisfactorily explained 400 million Kenya shillings, failing to account for more than 600 million, which the anti-graft body holds are proceeds of corruption and liable to forfeiture to the state. In its notice of appeal, the agency has expressed dissatisfaction with the judgment of the High Court, praying to the appellate court to set them aside. And therefore, the commission has uh, filed a notice of appeal the commission will be challenging the entire decision of his lordship justice sifuna and they will be asking the court of appeal to consider overturning that judgment because if allowed to stand it will have uh, adverse uh, consequences in the fight against corruption and uh, negate the jurisprudential gains that the country has made so far the Commission argues that the ruling by the High Court has the potential to reverse the jurisprudential gains Kenya has so far made in the recovery of public funds and assets stolen by corrupt public officials, and adds that the ruling by the High Court sets a bad precedent, making it easier for corrupt public officials to use their offices as a medium for accumulation of wealth at the expense of the public. The Commission finds this judgment inimical to public interest and if allowed to stand, it will disturb the established legal principles and standards that uh, constitute the progressive jurisprudence that uh, has seen the country make significant gains in the recovery of stolen public property. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV.